Hello! So today I wanted to share with you my current favorite and what have been my favorites for all of 2022, now into 2023, lipsticks. I get asked from time to time what I'm wearing on my lips and it is pretty much always one of four of these. These are the Urban Decay Cream Lipsticks. I'm trying to see if any of them are matte. Yes, two of them are matte and two of them are cream. I just looked them up and they are $21 on Sephora. They are a nice chunky full size. I'm currently wearing Hitchhike on my lips. I believe this was the first one I tried or maybe the second. Regardless, it is my absolute favorite. I want to say it's my holy grail color. For a ridiculously long time now, my go-to color has been, I describe it as a bricky red. It's not like a full-on cherry red, but it is in the red family, just more on the burnt side, maybe orangish undertones. Before I got into these, I had a bout of playing around with different lipsticks. I got really into the Fenty ones for a minute, but then before that, for years, I would only wear the Smash box lipstick in cognac and this one is very similar to that I think it's a little bit brighter than cognac was which seemed to be a little more brown but they're very comparable in my opinion but what made me fall in love with this one more is how it feels the smashbox cognac one was more of a drier formula this is just wetter more moisturizing glides on super easy I thought it was a cream but it actually is a matte I mean I guess it's not like super shiny or glossy right so I can see where it would be in the matte category, but it is so soft and comfortable on. I typically don't like wearing mattes because of how drying they are. So this is like almost perfect in my opinion. Oh, something I should have said first, I am never without this lip liner, which is the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in Rose Wine. This is also something I have been using for years and years and years. I do not wear lipstick without this underneath and I don't go a day without wearing lipstick. So this is literally an everyday color. It is a rosy shade, but I don't personally find that it is more pinky rose. To me, it slightly trends more brown or reddish. So when you see these lip colors on my lips, it is not their true standalone color since this is always underneath it. And why do I do this? At this point, it's probably partially out of habit. Also, I eat, drink, and talk a lot throughout the day. So my lipstick is always coming off, fading. But this, being a lip liner, doesn't come off as easy. So even if my lipstick is there's always a base of some color thanks to this. Moving on. Ah, clean it off because it has my fingerprints all over it. A close second is this one called Liar. This is the most recent one I got and you can see it actually still has a little bit of its shape left. Whereas the other ones are flat now, some of them are almost gone. I wanted something a little more neutral, maybe in the nudes category. I don't ever and haven't ever gotten into a nude lip on me, but never say never, even though I just said it like four times. But I wanted something that was just a little more toned down. And this one is a cream. Even though I feel like how it feels on my lips is the same as the other one. This is the second one I reach for the most. It is a very wearable shade. It does all the things I said I was looking for. It's less bright. It's more in the natural tones, but it still gives me a good amount of color. I also have loved this one to add on to other colors. Now this was either the first or the second one I got from them. It is a cream. It is called Ravenswood. See, look at how flat and how little of this there is left. Before I got Liar, the one I just showed you, this was my second go-to for a long time. Even though it's probably considered a cream because of its texture, even though the texture is very similar to the matte, in my opinion, it does have a creamy look to it. It's one of the deeper shades I have without being like a deep color. To me, it trends or has like undertones of purple. Lately, I reach for this when I want a little more depth on my lips. I don't know why this feels embarrassing to say, but if I'm going for kind of like a punky, grungy look, <laughs> I like this for that. Again, it's not like a goth color, but it does give me a little more oomph without being like super loud about it. Lastly, my brightest of the bunch, and this is a matte called Gridlock. It is a bright, punchy, fuchsia pink, and this one is the most dry feeling of all the others. Again, for being considered a matte though, I have used matte lipsticks in the past that just feel like I'm trying to put chalk on my lips. These are all very wearable, easy to apply. When I am in my pink feels and doing the whole pink look from head to toe, this is the one I'll wear. It makes a statement, it is so much fun. The other thing I like to do when I want a poppy pink on my lips, but I don't want it as bold as this, that's when I'll throw on this one, Liar, on top, and it just mutes it a little bit, makes it a less 
bright pink and a little more of a creamy. And that's it, my four favorite lip colors. Anytime you see me on any of the platforms, I am wearing one of those on top of my lip liner. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I still enjoy watching beauty videos even though I don't post them as much myself. I love seeing what people are into, recommending, and I like hearing from you. What's your holy grail lip color? What are you into? Please share all the things. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye.